your assessment of that again when your team gets in a new position and you're on again and you just do it again? Yeah. Yeah, the facts. And we really should step up there. It shouldn't happen. It's so necessary when you work so hard and also I think you work good together and you and like over a long period you control the game. Loads of chances. I saw a part from the second part, first half, where we conceded a couple of chances with good saves from Andre. But the rest of the game was all ours. And then yeah, you were in a winning position and you gave it away. I mean that sorry, that that has happened so much over the last few weeks. Why? Yeah, it's uh, so uh, a, f a variation of reason. <laughs> so this is this is very different to the ones before. The only thing is, um, it's again a penalty. Uh, there were some penalties included. Um, uh, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool, and now again. And I think it was a justified penalty. Um, so we do it. And we only have to uh, look in the mirror in the perspective of that penalty. But if then the refereeing is consistent uh, against Chelsea and Liverpool already, we can there were no penalties against, but the penalties for us, we don't get them and they are not consistent. And uh, when you see uh, Bambisaka two minutes against, uh, before end against Coventry City conceding a penalty with a handball and then hours from Anthony just before end, uh, we don't get the penalty. And so that's also a part of it, so it's bad luck. But yeah, we play a role as well. Uh, we, when you put yourself in winning positions, bring it over the line. Ah, we are fans, but <laughs> I have to to manage a team, and I have, um, of course, winning games. That's first of all, and see uh, what the game needs. And I think we needed by that time some uh, some freshness, first of all, and then, but also from technical wise, bring a player up who can keep the ball, who be is, who is creative, uh, and then in the midfield, you could see it was a very uh, a high intense game. It went up and down, and then you see also some fatigue. Uh, and Rasmus, which is a very young player, and Kobe Mano, which is a very young player. And yeah, there we sucked, and it was the right decision. And you see, after uh, we, we took uh, some benefit from it uh, by bringing f the fresh legs, and uh, with Scott in a position uh, when it's so open, he's very good in such situations, and uh, he can make his penetrations from there. And uh, that also happened that we put ourselves from there in a winning position. And then the last thing, uh, we have uh, three games where Burnley and they had, f had days off. And in that high intense game, yeah, that's totally logical to bring players off uh, who are very young, who are in the first years of the Premier League. And, and then don't even talk about the injury risk. Eh? Uh, Rasmus Holland had more injuries already in the course of this season, Kobe Mino also, and had some two bad injuries, so I don't want them to get injured, so I protected them as well. So there are more reasons uh, to make the subs, but then I understand eh, that fans, they want to see, they see also uh, the, the skills <coughs> those players, they are bringing, uh, so contribute to the team. I, I understand that, but I have, um, uh, I have to do my job, and that is the right decision. John, there's a lot of players at this time in the, the season claiming that you're not fatigued, which you know your fatigue will be responsible for mistakes and maybe why they're, they're struggling a bit. You know, a lot. Of, I don't just mean your players; a lot of players across the league, and you can see that as outsiders on the physical side of it, but there's the mental side of it as well to <coughs> keep focused, to keep yourself acute for it all the time. When you've got young players in the side. It's even tougher mentally for them. Is that an aspect that maybe some of your players, because they're so fresh to it, have struggled with? Is it the mental burden that's maybe sure. been the reason for it? Uh, sure. It's, uh, we have some uh, very young players, and that's why uh, we built this club back. And that takes time, and we built this uh, by uh, bringing in young players, Rasmus Hoyland, 
Alejandro Canacho, Kobe Mano. Hey, they are all in the first season of, um, of a Premier League. And the Premier League gets intenser year by year. Eh? We have seen the data, uh, and it's much more intense as last season. And especially when you see it over the last four or five seasons. And those players have to adjust, and, and that takes time. And I'm sorry for everyone. Uh, so I'm very impatient, but there yeah, uh, we need patient and fans. They need patient, and uh, we built here a team, and they need the experience. And yeah, you are right, and they have to. Uh, yeah, the mental, and when you get fatigue, you have to keep the focus uh, uh, till the end. Till uh, uh, also this season, there was an extra effect that they do the the extra time, and they are really. Uh, it's often seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. So bringing more minutes in the game for uh, to keep the tempo in the in the game as well. So therefore, it's very intense and more volume, and yeah, that is uh, say a limit they have to cross, and they only get it by experiences. Well, that's the point we're trying to make that, that because you bought young players, you're bringing in young players, that people are going to have to wait until next season, maybe the season after that, before they get the benefit of what you're actually trying to do here. But you, you need the time to actually see see the uh, the results of what you're trying to put in place. Yeah, you express it uh, 100% good, and it's, I you think. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe we have to do. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, last question, Rob. Um, I really feel quite keen on your research because it's similar about Chelsea that you can't judge the Chelsea team now against the Chelsea team of the past because they've chosen to buy young players. Are you effectively saying the same thing about this United team? That you've chosen to pick young players, and so the judgment against maybe great United teams of the past are, are way off the mark because they're just not at that level yet. Oh, absolutely, a way off the mark, but also. The great Manchester United team, uh, we forget, they were also built. I have seen, I think when they are 2005, 2004, 2005, they also didn't play that great football. Eh? They were building, and uh, it takes time. Uh, but everyone <coughs> forgets, even the players who are by that time in the team, they forget that they were struggling and that they needed time to progress. Okay, thank you very much.